Hello guys, welcome back to Easy Electronics channel where we do cool things. And uh, today is special day. Uh, it's actually the uh, first real video I do after I was gone for a while, three months in fact. And I was busy uh, working hard, learning, going to uh, post-secondary schooling and uh, making some projects on my free time. Now, I did not make any videos. Uh, I did not feel like it would be popular, but I saw that uh, people are interested in um, the things that I'm doing and I'm showing so uh, I decided to continue and this is the continuation uh, this is a power supply I made uh, for replacement of this fellow uh, which I used a while ago uh, it's smaller uh, as you can see but uh, it's much louder and uh, it the output wasn't great enough uh, the, uh, I actually burned one of the channels so instead of dual rail it became a single rail which is useless uh, so I decided to make this one uh, this one has additional features uh, like uh, two power supplies in one uh, also we have digital voltage uh, measuring and current measuring for both channels uh, as well as we have ATX power supply uh, which some might noticed by 12 volt 5 volt and 3.3 volt outputs so um, I will just show you how to operate it and what it can do and then if anyone is interested just write it in the comments if you want more detailed video of how this thing works so first of all uh, we turn on the switch uh, the fan turns on and then uh, the power supply is still on standby so what we do is if we want the adjustable dual rails we turn that on and as you can see there we go we can control the output no problem whatever voltage you want now there is a course and there is a fine adjustment so uh, by turning this you can go up and down which makes your life a lot easier this shows voltage and current for both of the rails so let's put it back to zero there's a uh, 5 amp input fuse as well as 5 amp output fuse and um, that's about it for the adjustable section then we have a 60 volt plus 60 volt minus and ground connections <coughs> for uh, the 60 volt transformer and that's about it for the first power supply inside so we'll turn that off turn the ATX on now it's on standby right now so it's not really working until you put the switch now the second fan starts inside that's blowing on the circuit board and we have uh, 12 volt output plus minus 5 volt plus minus 3.3 volt plus minus um, I think it's 15 amps for 12 volt um, then it's something like 11 for 5 and 22 for 3.3 so uh, quite a lot of power uh, and I actually don't know if I will ever use all that power but uh, what this thing is made for is uh, this is low power adjust adjusting uh, power supply right here so uh, there's a uh, Slight significant, no, there is a significant voltage drop when you load the output. So, 
if I set this to 30 volts under about 1 amp uh, load it will become 22 volts same thing for uh, the second uh, rail not channel rail uh, so that's the only drawback uh, but so far since we have a very big selection of voltages uh, you, will, you should never run into this problem because if you need 5 volts use that one if you need 5 volts use that one or less use that one this is uh, your higher voltage um, adjuster, uh, adjusting power supply to do up amps uh, whatever you want up to 1 amp it's perfect perfect up to 1 amp so it's very good uh, the 60 volt has no limitation um, whatever the transformer can give you it will give you it's quite big I think it's uh, from 1000 watt uh, audio system so quite a lot of power so yeah uh, that's about it for this one if you want to know how this thing works uh, we will like and subscribe to my channel and write it in the comments if you want to know how it works I will take it apart and show you the internals and uh, yeah thank you for watching and see you next time